Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. This is episode 17 of Let's Play Saxony in your Open Universalis 4. What happened in the last episode? Well, Castile won a huge war with Mali. Wow, look how big Mali is. Castile won a huge war with Mali. They took 1,500 ducats and like four provinces or something. And after the war was over, they're like, eh, we don't want them. So they sold three of the four provinces back to Mali. They still have this one. You can sort of see the little yellow outline here. Outline here. They still have this province. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, but they kept that one, and they sold the rest over there. And they've been spending their money like crazy. I don't know what they've been spending it on, but I'm sure it's been good stuff, whatever it is. Anyway, let's get back in and see if we can't uh, just kind of wish our way into vassalizing Pomerania. They need to get out of this war with the Ottomans. I don't know why they're at war with the Ottomans, but they are, and they don't need to be. And the Ottomans are a merchant republic. The Ottomans are a noble republic. That's freaking hilarious. Go Ottomans. <laughs> It's such a weird campaign. Seriously weird. Like, Crimea was leading a, a personal union with the Ottomans for a while. It's like, okay. <laughs> Let's keep our other Diplo busy. Let's go. I don't really want to kissy-kissy with with Hesse. Uh, maybe Utrecht? They're so tiny, though. Let's do uh, Friesland. No, they're a fucking republic. Goddamn republics. Uh, Lithuania. They'll be really good, right? Yeah, let's get on Lithuania's good side. The enemy of my enemy, right? They're currently allied with Poland, but that probably won't last. Poland has my dynasty. But, oh, did we die? I think we died. Oh shit, we have a weak claim there. Oof. But we didn't inherit uh, Thuringia. Damn it. So we still have a percent chance every year. 31% chance. Great. That's fine. It's too bad our heir has a weak claim, though. I wonder why it's a weak claim. doesn't really tell you why. Maybe, maybe we have too many marriages with everyone, so that's why it's a weak claim. But anyway, this guy sucks for Diplo power, so we're getting crap all Diplo power. Uh, he's pretty good for military, though, so we're going we're gonna to pound our way through the uh, military idea tree. That's going to be fantastic. Come on, Pomerania, peace out. You don't need that war. Aragon moved their capital to the Boleris. They... They surrendered all of Sicily to Naples. I wonder if they can change our name to Sicily. That'd be great. Anyway, here's Aragon's only province now. Poor Aragon. Norway's back to being a kingdom. Good for you. Come on, Pomerania. Peace out. I just want to vassalize you. It'll be okay, bro. It'll be fine. I don't know what they're worried about. Oh, the Ottomans are no longer a fucking republic. Oh well. Saxony, let's see. Switzerland is fabricating claims on us. That's not good. I mean, it's not like they're super duper strong or anything, but they are allied with France, and I need to get my alliance with France really soon here. They don't want to ally with us right now because we are at war. As soon as we're out of our war, we can ally with France, which would be great. We're already married. Oh, goodness. Come on, you guys. Finish your shits. Sorry, Munster, I can't give you access because you're at war with my buddy. Okay, there it is. Cologne will see... Oh, God. Of course, Austria did the biggest dick move they could possibly do. They took they took almost all of Cologne. You're such a dick, Austria. <laughs> That's why everyone hates the shit out of them. All right, let's ally with France. They do want it. We're going to stop impressing uh, Austria. There you go. Oh, they're even offering it to us. We didn't have to do it. They want our they want to be our buddy. Great. That's perfect. Uh, and let's start improving relations over here. Oh, we can't. We're already at 94. All right, so that's just going to happen over time. Uh, we could set up a rival, but I don't want to fuck up our current rivalries. Let's see. The Hansa. The Hansa. The Hansa. Okay, that's fine. Who else do we have? Uh, Hungary. Do we need Hungary? Who's Austria have? Austria has France and Hungary. I guess we do... We could do Poland instead of Hungary. Ooh, Poland might be real good. Let's do Poland. All right, let's ditch Hungary. Bah. I mean, we don't border them anyway. And let's do Poland. That way we can fabricate claims on the cheap if we ever want to. Poland, 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 Poland. Bingo. We have the same dynasty, but oh well. 
Uh, who else do you have? Okay, that's fine. So those are our only real allies, and those are the only guys I care about. So let's um, let's uh, be like France, and let's go for Castile. Sure. Don't need Cologne. Cologne only has one province now. So Castile. Donde estas Castile? Beep, 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 beep. Bingo. Great. So now that's going to give us a huge relations bonus with France. Ah, instant 200. I love it. All right, come on. Get out of that war, Pomerania. Get out of that damn war. No more coalition against Cologne? Of course not. They have no provinces because Austria took them all. <laughs> oh. Can't improve relations anymore, so let's go back to improving relations with Austria, just just for whatever reason. Assuming they don't go to war with France right away, which they probably will. But whatever. If they want to help us against Poland or something first, that's fine. With okay, Pomerania is out. Let's stop impressing Austria, and let's get this vassal going. Yeah. We don't have a marriage anymore. Oh, because our king died, we have to get our marriages again. Damn it. Uh, vassal first. We have to marry first. All right. Marry first. We are allied, right? Yes. Ooh, fortification effort. Lose money, gain defensiveness until the end of the game. Psh, sure. So we lost all our royal marriages because our king died. Well, that sucks. Lithuania broke your lines with Poland. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Lithuania, my boy. Alright, vassal, done. Great, and we have a reformed province that I don't care about. Uh, how close are we here? Three plus... Uh, we're almost there. Two more points and we'll be able to vassalize them. You guys might be too large now. Let's take a look and see if they're too large to vassalize. They are. Shit. They're slightly too large to vassalize. God damn it. We'll keep an eye on them, though. Primary broke the alliance, of course. That once you vassalize someone, they automatically break the alliance. It's, it's normal. Don't worry about it. We only need two more points we can vassalize these clowns. Okay, improve relation. That should do it, I think. And then we'll give them a gift of gold. Too bad they took that province. Stupid Brunswick. What are you thinking? Oh my god, our king died already? And this guy has no fucking legitimacy. And we have pretender rebels. Alright, well, it's only six. Uh, go ahead and spawn him. And just go stomp on his face. Do we have a leader? Nope. Um... Ooh. Oh, his heir has a strong claim. Well, then we'll just make this guy a fucking military general, and then he can, he can go die in a fire somewhere. Uh, we probably should get stability up, but I won't. Oh, we can prove defenses in Neumark. Yeah, let's do that. That's an easy mission. I like those. There you go. Uh, you want access? Mm, sure, whatever. They only have one province left. I feel kind of bad for them. All right, make you a leader. You suck balls. One zero zero one. Yeah, whatever. Go kill them. And if you die in battle, I won't cry that much. Ooh, war with Austria. What's this? Fucking France. French conquest of Vlanderen. All right, so this is where we have to decide whether or not we keep Austria as an ally. And I think the answer is no. Sorry, Austria. We're going to decline this. Ooh, that hurts. We're going to lose a ton of prestige for that. I don't know how much we lost, but I'm sure it's a lot. And they don't like us anymore because of that, but oh well. Sorry. Saxe Lauenburg, one more point, and we can get this shit going. Alright, we killed the rebels. Good. Poor Austria. France! Well, we can help France, sure. 
And we're going to lose one stability for going to war with a royal marriage with Austria. You, if you cancel the royal marriage, you're going to lose one stability anyway, so whatever. So who's France at war with? Let's take a look here. Austria, Lorraine, Wallachia, the Pope, and Maine. So not much. I mean, Wallachia is down here. They're one province minor. Way, 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 way away. Uh, Lorraine, one province minor here. They're going to get annexed, I'm sure. Uh, the Pope, one province minor here. They're going to get annexed. And uh, Mainz, another one province minor. So that's a little silly. And Mainz may get annexed. You know, who knows? Sure, we'll join. We're going to lose stability here. Sorry, Austria. We're not actually going to help. Uh, we don't. We don't need to help. And we can't vassalize. And we could make him start spitting out some people. That might be kind of cool. Mm, yeah, we'll fund our troops. How much is that going to cost us? A lot. Oh my god, that's expensive. <laughs> wow. It's a good thing we have 100 bucks. Uh, we could do some decisions. Dissolution Act. What is this? Prevent kings from exercising absolute control over their kingdoms without the consent of the parliament. Stability cost goes down. I like that. Okay. In the meantime, we will just let our dudes get some health, or not health, but um, morale back. And let's spend a little bit on stability. And then let's unpause. Poor Austria. Ooh, what are these? Protestant zealots over here. From Poland, nonetheless. Stupid Protestants. You know what? We might even surrender to those Protestant rebels. That might be hilarious. Saxe Lauenburg. All right, you can come home now. We're going to vassalize you. This is great. Send a gift. Blamo. And vassalize. Hooray! So we vassalized Pomerania and Saxe Lauenburg. Oh, Brunschwick is back to saying yes. Hmm. Okay. They said no for a little bit there, and now they're saying yes. We still have our marriage? We do. Alright, so we just need to do what? We need we can only get six more pips here. That won't be enough. We need fifteen more aggressive expansion to go away. And then we can then we can do it. So that's gonna take a little while. That's fine. I'm patient. Uh, maybe we should see if we can get our alliance, not with Poland, maybe Lithuania. You guys are you got war though. You're war with Muscovy. Oh, that should be easy for you. And Perm. Yeah, well, Kazan is kind of big. It might be okay. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. But Austria is sort of coming. They actually are going to come attack us. No, they're not. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's run the fuck away. Let's go this way. Just to get our morale up, and then we'll go fight them. It's too bad we have a shitty leader, but whatever. Alright, we got some vassals going. And they are going to Bohemia. Oh, maybe, maybe they're going to go fight my rebels for me. That'd be great. Go fight my fucking rebels for me, Austria. Alright, now they're running over here for some reason. Renaissance Prince. Lose money, gain prestige, or lose prestige. I don't like either of those options, but we'll take the prestige. We're not that hard up on cash yet. We'll get there at some point. Anyway, our vassals are doing their thing. We could... Uh, we can't We can't demand they come to war, can we? Oh, they're automatically in it? Oh, these guys aren't. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, these guys are interested in vassalizing in. That's good. Uh, you guys, what's the percentage at? 24%. Yeah, well, I guess that's stability. That's fine, though. Let's go straight to the capital. See if we can make... Uh... Oh, France is already there. France is fighting my rebels. Thank you, France. You're the best. Alright, so Vienna... We're not even taking a Christian in Vienna. That's fantastic. And France is going to kill my rebels. I love you, France. <laughs> uh, 
So we're getting better relations with Lithuania. We're way over our diplo limit, so we can't really do much about that. I would love to marry them and ally them and whatever, but we can't just yet. Yeah, we could go for Sweden. They don't like us, but we could change that frown into uh, into a smile. They're, they don't have us as a, a rival. And if we had them as an ally, they could help us kill Denmark. That might be kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. Knights of Collapse. You know what? We're going to lower funding for a bit just because I want to save some money. And then if Austria starts coming back, we can uh, fund them again. Because they don't really have any troops near us. They're way over here in France. Ooh, peasants. My vassals don't even have enough troops to kill the peasants. That's hilarious. Oh, our treasurer died. Damn it. What's up? Admin tech? That might be kind of good. Revolt risk? That might be good right now because we have a lot of revolts. Yeah, let's do the revolt risk. And we can do this. What's this? Advancement of religion. Revolt risk goes up, but missionary strength also goes up. You know what? I'm going to take that because a little bit of revolt risk is going to be worth it in the long run for the sake of getting everyone converted because we are going to change our religion. Just not yet. <laughs> and when we do, we're going to need that extra strength of uh, conversion. Okay, new mission. Protect against Castile. They have more troops than we do. Become emperor. Claim our rival's province, Poznan. Well, becoming emperor might be a little easier after Austria loses this war. Uh, but maybe not. I don't know. Mm, protect against Castile is probably the easiest one. What's our military limit? 35. Let's do the protect against Castile because we can get 35 troops no problem. Our legitimacy is slowly going up, just not much. My goodness. So they're still interested as vassalization. We just need a, a few more points. It's going to be a few years, I guess, before we get um, relations good enough. All right, walls are busted in Vienna. We should be able to get it real quickly here. Looks like Austria is invading Hungary for whatever reason. They're focusing on Hungary instead of France. Oh well, what are you going to do? Boundary dispute. Gain, let's see, Saxony gets a claim on Bomerwald. Oh, God damn it. Sure, that's fine. Not like we care about Bomerwald. They're still in that frickin' personal union. And Vienna has fallen. Fantastic. Let's go, yeah, take that one. Kill him dead. Oh, he didn't die. Shit. Well, we can leave two troops here, and then let's go kill these rebels. And of course, the rebels just stood there like idiots. Oh god. Sweden just took a whole huge chunk of Novgorod. They took all this shit, and then they took all this shit. God, Sweden. Yeah, they are super scary right now. And they declared war on Norway, because that's that's necessary. What's up, France? You got some other damn war? Aw, oh, shit. They're at war with Sweden. <sighs> Why? Are you allied with Norway? Oh, it's a coalition against Sweden. You're in the fucking coalition against Sweden. Are you joking? No, you're not. You're not in the coalition. Well, what is it, then? I'm a little confused here how you want you're not allied with them. You're not are you guaranteeing them? No. I'm confused, but most likely we won't even have to fight their troops, so sure we'll join it. Sweden and Bohemia. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, so let's up the funding again and let's go resiege Bohemia, because why not? Maybe maybe Sweden will give Bohemia to us. Probably not though. 
Uh, bum, bum, bum. Where's my funding? There's my funding. There you go. Kill them all. I'm gonna wait a couple days though. And drop off some dipshits. Rebels, no! Oh, they're gonna run away. Don't run away. They are seriously running away. Damn it. Alright, let's see if we can catch this little shit. Uh, what's his tech at? His tech is 9. So we have better tech than him. Our leader sucks, but I don't really care if the leader sucks. Alright, up our admin tech. Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. Courthouses, workshops. Ooh. Act of uniformity. Missionary strength plus 1. Suffragan bishop act. Ooh, stability cost is cheaper, but tax goes down. No, thank you. I wish we could make these go away. Like, you never want to see them again. I wish you could make them go away, but you can't. Ugh. And if you right-click this to make it go away once, it'll never come back, because that decision will always be available. Uh, let's see if we can trick this guy. Uh, so we're going to take the general... No, we can't do it, because we don't control that province. Lol. Tricking no work. Alright, now Austria's here, so let's fight. And we killed Austria's 7,000 man army. Fantastic. Found a dispute on Kalitz. Alright, okay. So we're gonna have a claim over here on Poland. Okay, whatever. Fine with me, I guess. And France again killed my rebels. Great. Castile is no longer guaranteeing Aragon, okay? And France is chasing uh, Bohemia's army around. Alright. Siege up, siege up. Just go everywhere. Austria's fucked. They're dead. Yay! Alright, we're just going to slow siege now. I don't think there's much threat at the moment. Switzerland left the coalition against us. Good. How are things looking here? 12 more. Not quite enough. Okay. Uh, we're still impressing Lithuania. France still loves us really, really well. I wish we could get better relations with Sweden since they would be a good ally against, I don't know, Denmark. Oh, God. Scotland's invading England again. The thing is, earlier in the series, Scotland took these three provinces from England, and then they gave them all up to rebels, because the AI has no idea what to do with rebels. Anyway, we need to end here. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Join us next time, where we will hopefully finish this war with Sweden. Maybe we can demand something from them, but who knows? I'm sure they don't value this shit very much, and I know that we can't talk to Bohemia separately because they're in a personal union. Oh well. See you guys next time.